Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 17th, 2022. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had some very confusing and kind of contradictory data. It created um, um, some worries, I think, about recession again, as we continue to hear those Fed speakers coming out saying, now we're not going to pivot, we're maybe looking at a 50 basis point increase um, in December, um, adding some worries of recession, and um, we saw the dollar um, bounce a little bit yesterday, we saw uh, bond yields increase a little bit so we just had this confusing and uncertain day to day and unfortunately the Dow um, um, just really chopped we chopped sideways in the in the Dow in a hundred and sixty point range the entire day just whipsawing back and forth unfortunately this morning we see a little bit of bearishness coming into the market so what does that mean for overall today well how about we settle in let's buckle up Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as I have been mentioning over and over and over, you know, resistance does matter in a chart, and that resistance seems to be doing its job here right now. This is a very strong area of price resistance in the chart. Seems to be doing its job, but so far we haven't broken down into any bearish patterns. Um, there's no technical damage showing up here in the Dow chart. Just that little bit of pullback going on, and unfortunately, these candles encompass so many points that it, it's actually a little bit dangerous and, and um, uh, probably frustrating for traders because of the size of these moves on an intraday basis. The whipsaws and things have become very, very challenging. Now, it is possible we're settling into a wide-ranging chop zone consolidation, and that would not be a surprise after such a strong rally to the upside and a big resistance level above we may just have to rest here for a while in the market. Now, if those bulls find inspiration here today, we're, we're gonna have to continue to watch that resistance level up here in the chart. But if those bears find inspiration, keep a close eye on this area right in here. I think if we fail through this area, that might change some attitudes here in the market. That's gonna be giving up some support and some trend and we might actually see the bears uh, be emboldened if we were to slip in below some of those areas. So kind of keep a close eye on that. Now our SPY um, actually had a little bit more trouble yesterday than the Dow, but you'll want to notice that we still hung in there. We didn't break down through uh, that little area of price support. Unfortunately, Looks like we might be doing that this morning, at least in the pre-market, kind of considering that we still have some data coming our way that could change that um, significantly. We continue to struggle with this price resistance in the chart. And if we were to find some bullish price action in here um, on the data today, then look for that resistance to be tested again here um, um, as we continue to just kind of wander around in this chop. But if those bears push on through, I think where things get critical in the SPY is if we were to give up that area of price support. If we drop down through there, there would be some concern maybe cropping up here in the market. Now, it all depends on how you draw this trend. Obviously, very, very choppy in this price action in here. Maybe a trend up through there might be something to pay attention to. I know a lot of folks are kind of hoping that this is going to be the trend. 
but um, that might be a little bit of a stretch. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I think more importantly would be that price support in here right now. So keep a close eye on that. If we drift down below this area, I would look for some selling to pick up um, in the market. So watch that close. And then our QQQ had probably the roughest day yesterday, uh, pushing back a little bit more. Again, we still held on to some of these levels in here. We didn't give them up, but you can see we're testing them pretty hard this morning. Um, um, at least in the pre-market again the this could change quite a bit um, as we move along and we don't really have much of a trend here that we can count on notice that the only thing we could really say is a trend right now is right here um, because we kind of shot up really fast so what we're looking for is we're looking to find some kind of price support in here that we can build um, our first higher low off of still possible in that chart so let's watch carefully once again if those bulls find inspiration we're going to watch that resistance up here that's pretty darn substantial and if those bears find inspiration well um, watch this area here that's where things could really turn critical if we start losing some of these support areas in in this chart that's where the bears would be emboldened to maybe start attacking again um, let's take a look at our russell um, kind of interesting yesterday it was really only the dow doing all of the holding yesterday while all three of, of the spy qqq and iwm saw a bit of bearishness in here and as you can see we um, shooting star pattern up here we kind of left a gap window behind there a little bit of a gap window behind here um, adding to some uncertainty in that pattern and if we take a look um, right through um, here it all depends on how you want to draw that trend maybe up through here you might want to go this way um, kind of confusing price patterns in the chart but once again we saw um, the Russell kind of get taking it on the chin here a little bit and unfortunately what happened in the Russell is yesterday we kind of gave up that little high point of support there uh, by the close and you can see pushing down here in the pre-market so far so if those bears continue to hold on to that inspiration maybe some support area down in here um, might be the target I could see also a possibility we might just attack that gap and maybe find some support in there but the stronger area of support is is down here so watch carefully and then if we find that bullish price action to come into play if we find reason well then look for a retest of that resistance right in there on the chart let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX has been um, showing really no fear here in the market we've really leaned into this idea that well the Fed's gonna back off and everything's going to be you know rosy from here forward um, but unfortunately what we're hearing from those Fed members is they're not backing off they um, are pointing toward a 50 basis point increase in December and they're looking for more as a matter of fact they're still suggesting somewhere between 5 and 5.25 percent might be the upside target rate that they may be reaching for here in the market so um, well maybe um, um, as we kind of wind down earnings and the hype around earnings things like that we might see a little bit of fear creep back into the market but so far as you can see we're holding below this level in here there's a resistance level there we've got some resistance <laughs> right through here and those uh, bears just don't seem to have the energy to push back up through those levels so right now you've got to give this up to the bulls they're holding in there there's no technical damage showing up in the charts albeit the dow is very very extended still in its range so we'll have to just watch this pretty closely because i i do um i am kind of concerned that we could get that move all of a sudden where um, we just get that big reversal that comes in the market 
Um, hope I'm wrong on that, but when we're, we're when we're showing some complacency like this, that does make me uh, worry just a little bit about that big shift that could come all at once. Now, if we were to take a look at our um, T2122, we did get some nice relief yesterday in T2122. This has been that concern up here that I keep talking about is that overbought condition here in the market. And certainly we did get a little bit of relief in that yesterday with a bit of a pullback. We're still a long ways here from our 50 um, um, or the center line of this chart where we, um, you know, have relieved enough pressure that, you know, you could really see a pretty substantial bounce. But, um, you know, with the data that we've got coming today, just with that relief that we had yesterday, there's no reason to believe we couldn't see those bulls push in here and push us right back up. Um, I see right now an institutional um, uh, pressure to just keep the market up right now. Um, they're really, really trying to just keep the market up uh, for the moment. They're, it seems to be an effort to just suck as much money into the market as it can right now, um, even though all of these institutions are pointing to that possible um, um, recession next year and challenging um, challenging earnings for a couple quarters um, in, in next year so just watch that closely and and be careful uh, be careful with the chase um, I think it's a dangerous place to be chasing stocks higher right now now watch this closely if those bears find that inspiration we certainly have plenty of um, opportunity to the downside yet let's take a look at our T2108 T2108 pulled back just a little teeny tiny bit relieving some of that pressure in here but as you can see we're still very elevated in the short term on our T2108 you know we went from kind of extreme bearishness to straight back up to um, extreme bullishness. Now, we saw this in August of last year where we pushed all the way back up here and then we whipsawed all the way back down for a very punishing move. Let's hope that doesn't occur here. Let's hope if we do get that pullback that we probably need in the market that we find some price support maybe through here. Just relieve some of that pressure, but watch carefully in case those bears re-engage. And then our T2107, also relieving some, some of that pressure yesterday. So again, the same thing here is true. We, we've actually pushed this right through that August high. So now a pullback or consolidation that brings us back down into this area would be something we'd want to keep an eye on. So watch carefully for that. That would relieve that pressure. And, and as long as it holds that support in here, we're in really good shape. But if those bears were to re-engage, Again, we want to watch for that potential where we could really whip this back lower. So be careful. Our T2101 continues to show that that momentum shifted here um, a few days ago, um, shifted back to the downside. We lost that upside momentum. And it's probably just the price resistance of the chart kind of holding us down here. So we continue to show that move up here, but we really have not seen those bears hard engage here in the market and perhaps they won't so watch carefully for that resting pullback or consolidation in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar well we've got a few things here that could change things this morning so even though we're showing bearishness here early this morning a lot could change very very quickly with these reports so first off we've got a housing starts in permit report and remember we're in a world right now where good is bad and bad is good so if we were to get a um, housing number that is um, showing distress in that industry that might actually help the market here just a little bit because it shows that what the Fed is doing is actually working and bringing those prices and and those sales down. However, if it comes in stronger than expected, then you could look for the market to be negative on that. The same thing will be true here on jobless claims. If jobless claims come in strong, the market will probably be negative on that. And if they're weak, 
the market will likely celebrate on that. So your guess is as good as mine how we react. Now, the next thing is we got to think about here is this Philly Fed. And what we've been seeing in our manufacturing numbers is still an awful lot of stress. And although consensus is sus suspecting that um, or expecting that that will improve ever so slightly, it's still going to be a substantially negative number if their target is correct. So watch that closely. That may not be helpful for the market. And then, as you know, we just continue. Fed speakers just keep out there talking and talking and they're not backing off from their hockey stance so keep an eye on those as they come through the day um, we have a gas report we have a couple of bond auctions in here and then later on in the day we've got um, a fed speaker uh, or a fed balance sheet so watch carefully as you plan forward for tomorrow the pressure really won't be off until we kind of get through um, you know, those existing home sales that, well, could add a little bit more pressure to the market. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar has been dwindling down here. We're starting to reach the end of those earnings. and uh, Obviously, they continue to dribble them out over the entire quarter to keep that inspiration going. And um, uh, what I think is just earnings ma manipulation. But um, as we watch this, um, they are beginning to diminish. But we have uh, Thursdays are usually our biggest day. And so we have quite a few to pay attention to on the report today. So um, we've got, um, if you um, are following BABA, BABA will be reporting this morning. Um, we've got a, a applied material that will be out there reporting. We're, we've got a lot of retail. We're going to hear from uh, BJ's Wholesale Club. We're going to hear from uh, the Gap stores. We're going to hear from Macy's and Kohl's. So a lot of retail, and we've been getting quite a bit of mix in those retail results. We're also going to hear from stocks like VAPS and WB. If you would like to catch the full list of notables, um, if you could click the link just below the title of the video, that'll take you to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. Again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful for helping you plan your day, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you for everyone who does engage with the videos um, um, by leaving those comments and actually thumbs upping and commenting on other folks uh, their comments and uh, that helps a lot as well and if you uh, feel the video is worthy enough well share it out on your social media feed that helps us reach more folks so thank you very much for everyone who does take the time to do that let's take a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to need to do your own due diligence make sure you're never ever blindly following anyone else's trade idea first off let's take a look at um, uh, something that i'm personally holding so i have a little bias in this and that's tlt um, one of the things we're starting to see um, as uh, bonds have started to um, shift around here quite a bit we're seeing a little bit more interest in uh, picking up um, some bonds and you can see we have a nice little pattern in here and TLT has moved on up now I am not in any way shape or form thinking this is going to just take straight off and go up as a matter of fact what I would suggest that it's probably going to consolidate pull back chop around here a little bit but I'll be looking to add to this trade and, and by the way this is a longer term hold idea for me I'm just thinking that once this kind of market kind of settles out and settles down that TLT if all it does is come back up here to midway in TLT well I'm going to make a bucket load of money on it so looking for that longer term position here when the market shifts and it may not be for a while yet so just keep an eye on that UUP 
um, is also something I think you want to be keeping an eye on here because this is going to move those commodity prices around quite a bit. What we're seeing this morning here again is a little bit of a bounce here on the US dollar and we may be running back up here to find some resistance in the chart. So kind of keep an eye on that. This was a very steep fall so it wouldn't be out of the out of the ordinary to see a rally back in the dollar and that may create a little bit of pressure um, on the market so if if we see that dollar continuing to strengthen over the day or over the next couple of days look for the market to be a little bit on the bearish side um, if the dollar strengthens let's take a look at some of those um, trades that could be setting up TTWO um, I think could be setting up as a potential short. You can see what we've got going on here in TTWO, rallying back up to a resistance level. Um, we, um, uh, right there's the resistance I, I should have marked out, but rallying back up to a res resistance level in the chart and showing that little bit of bearishness um, starting to come here into that trade. So watch this carefully. This is a price alert that I placed on the chart. If that fails down through there, that I would kind of expect uh, TTWO will come on down and uh, maybe test this low again, double bottom kind of thing um, in the market. Pretty bearish chart here overall. You may also want to take a look at stocks like Google. Um, Google uh, pushing right back up into its downtrend here in the chart. Very substantial resistance levels in the chart. We have an activist out there um, calling for Google um, that they need to start laying off people, reducing workforce to um, save some money. So and we're also approaching um, that 100 area. 100 is a natural resistance area in a chart. So keep an eye on that. We may have some failure patterns starting to come back into play here on some of tech. Take a look at Tesla. Tesla's suffering pretty badly here. And there's that pattern again where we rally back to resistance. We're continuing in the overall downtrend and we rally up and we're seeing that bearishness coming into that chart. So watch stocks like that for those potential short trades. We're very extended in our market. So we want to start looking for some of those short trades to come into play. Take a look, stocks like CRM, CRM rallying back to a double top, excuse me, double top resistance, almost what you'd call a quadruple top resistance in that chart. And as you can see, uh, showing that bearishness here. Now it still could find some support right in here and bounce back up again, but these are the kind of stocks that we could see uh, pushing right on back down um, if the market can't hold on to um, uh, this bullish energy that we've seen here recently. So watch that closely. Now stocks on the bullish side, um, we've been seeing retail. Now I, I find this one to be a little bit on the interesting side because Nike reported horrible um, results and they reported a massive glut of inventory. But since that day, it's just been buy everything Nike, um, kind of surprising here. But we've pushed right back up into that downtrend resistance and we've got put significant price resistance in the chart. So watch that closely. If it can hold support up here, then this may turn bullish. But you know, how many times do we have to fail along the trend line before we believe it's true? So if we continue to see this little bit of a uh, bearish pattern starting to show up in here. Um, Nike may also slip back down um, in that pattern. So watch that close. Take a look at stocks like 3M. Now 3M has been in a nice bullish upside move, running into some price resistance here in the chart, pulling back, but look for some price support in here. If a stock like this can hold on to that price support, we might see some upside opportunity coming in to that chart. Um, other places that continue to remain very, very bullish, even though the dollar has moved back up, still seeing opportunities that could be setting up here in gold. We need a rest or a pullback. This is just too steep of a run. You don't wanna chase it. Rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. You could also look for um, stocks in copper, silver, steel. All of those are showing those signs. And then of course, energy. 
energy um, is going to be very, very sensitive to dollar or dollar moves. And we saw um, oil supplies diminish yesterday. We got a pullback in oil. We're pulling back a little bit more today. And that just sets up more opportunities for upside moves. So when we take a look at stocks like um, ExxonMobil, well, this pullback in ExxonMobil could just set up that next opportunity to the upside. So watch some of these resting pullbacks and look for those opportunities as they set up. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you guys all of the best today, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care. Have a great day.